Well, Richie, welcome to Aston Villa Football Club. Um, how pleased are you to have joined? Yeah, very happy. Um, obviously, Villa is a big club and um, I wasn't going to get in my football. So uh, I think um, the best place to come for me is, is as a big club as Villa is to come here and, and, and play football for this club. And what persuaded you that Aston Villa was the right club for you? Uh, I didn't need a lot of persuasion, to, to be fair. I mean, like I said, Villa's, Villa's a big club and you know you don't have to... You don't have to think twice when, when a club like that comes in for you. And have you had any conversations with any other people? Because I know Mark Brighton, who you will have played with at Leicester, he played for the club. Have you had any conversations about the inner workings of the club? Yeah, I've told them. I've told them about the, the interest and obviously he said how well uh, the structure is here and, and the training ground and, and how good everything is. And, you know, when you get uh, Villa Park rocking, how, how good it is there as well when you play at home. So. Obviously, I, I know all these things from, from watching football when, when Villa was in the Premier League, so I didn't really need him to remind me, but obviously it's nice to, to hear that from, from a person who's been here. And you're coming, on, coming here on the back of an amazing campaign personally. You won a Premier League medal with Leicester and you won promotion with Middlesbrough. Can you just talk us through that, that amazing season <laughs> for yourself? Yeah, it was, it was weird, obviously. I, I think I started the first 10 games or something for Leicester. Um, got involved in a couple, a couple more after that. But obviously, I, I could see that I wasn't playing regularly enough, um, which is what I wanted to do. So um, the gaffer told me over there that I could, I could leave to play football. So um, Middlesbrough came in on deadline day, and I just went there because I just want, I just wanted to play. So um, obviously, they were in a strong position to, to get promotion, which you know eventually, eventually they did on the last day of the season. But it must be weird to look at the the trophy cabinet. <laughs> you've got two, you've got kind of two awards for the for the one season with two clubs. It's incredible. It's, yeah, it's crazy. It's probably like once once in a lifetime season. But you know, I'm, I'm here now. I'm uh, I'm focused on Villa and then try to get another medal in that in that cabinet. On to my next question. Obviously, now helping Villa back to the Premier League must be absolutely firmly focused in your mind. Yeah, a club like Villa shouldn't be shouldn't be in the championship, um, but we are now, and it's uh, it's on to the players and the staff as a club to to get this club back where it belongs, um, and, and I'm sure the fans will agree with that as well. And having played in the championship, and more importantly, been successful in the championship, what is the Richie Delac guide to being successful in that division? <laughs> um, what I found is you can't dwell on any results, good or bad. I mean, it's it's a relentless league. You get you know, six, seven games a, a month sometimes. So there's no time to, to sit back and relax if you, if you play well and there's no time to, like I say, dwell on, on a bad result because the next game is around the corner. So you, you'll, you just have to take each game as it comes and, and, and get the maximum points. And if you can't, then you just don't lose it. And you obviously um, were successful last season. Villa struggled. Um, how much is your winning mentality going to be important? Because you, as you said, you've had a, a, a great season and you must have that sort of feel good factor how much will that how important will that be for the dressing room yeah i don't think it comes down to to a single player i mean it's uh, it's a group it's a team game and once the results come and then the guys get the, get their confidence back up and all that i'm sure there's plenty of quality in this dressing room to to just get a run going and and you know get us up there obviously the fans just see um, video footage of of players on the tv before they sign but they don't really know the person who, who comes to their football club. Can you give us a guide as to Richard Delat in the dressing room as a person and also Richard Delat uh, for fans in terms of the way you play as well? Um, dressing room wise, I'll probably be, be quiet at the start, um, but I'm, uh, I'm quite a loud, loud guy actually. You know, I like to have fun in training, which you, know, you, you have to because I, I personally think you're doing the best job best job there is which you've, you've got to enjoy so um, you know I like I like a joke I like a prank um, but that's just to keep you know to keep everything going you know like I said if, if there's a bad result you can't dwell on it so the next day and get uh, next day get the smiles back on, on the faces and, and, and you know focus on the next game um, as on the pitch I'm, I'm a hard-working hard-working defender who, who likes to who likes to bump forward um, I think one of my main strengths is um, is, is, is my speed and, and I like to use that going, going forward but obviously don't forget that I'm a, I'm a defender first and foremost. 
So it's fair to say that some of the players have got to be on their guard a little bit with your, with your, with your pranks. <laughs> no, not at the start, not at the start. But you know, you know how it is. I mean, I think it's it's in, in every job at the start. You know, once you f once you start feeling feel comfortable with, with with the lads and all that, then you know the the fun can begin. And um, what have you made of the start of the season for Villa? Because it, it seems to have been quite quite strong. Yeah, I've, I've seen I've seen obviously the two games that were that were on Sky. The first one. Um, the narrow defeat against Sheffield Wednesday, I think it was, and then the uh, the draw against uh, Derby, which you know we were very unlucky. In. I mean, hit the post, got cleared of the line, all sorts of things. But you know that's football. Um, we've we've played some strong teams already in, in 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 the championship in these first three games. I think it's been. Um, but it's like I say, we we just have to look at the next game and kick on from there. And the two men that potentially will be standing next to you on the pitch, Elphick and Chester. They look like a really strong partnership, don't they? Yeah, and again, they've done it before as well. Tommy's done it, obviously, with with Bournemouth. Um, I think Chesie has done it with Hull as well. Um, I know Chesie from from a time at, at United, which will obviously help in the dressing room as well. Um, but no, I think, like I say, you know, I've seen the few few first games, and, and and there's obviously quality in this in this team. And once once the gaffer and and, and the players get it get it going, then I'm, I'm sure we'll go on a good run. And finally, uh, from me, it's a new era now. Roberto Di Matteo, Dr. Tony Shaw, the owner. How excited are you beginning your journey? Yeah, very excited. I mean, like I said uh, before, I mean, if, if a club like Villa comes, um, come calling, then, then obviously you're not going to turn it down. But obviously with, with the changes around the players as well, um, some new players coming in, it's a very exciting time.